Hello friends, welcome to Mimi's workshop. If you are new to my channel, please press the red subscribe icon below and click on the bell symbol for regular notifications. Hello friends, today I have come up with the recipe of a flavored rice. We will make jeera rice which will be real quick and very easy to make. This recipe is particularly awesome because you can make use of the boring plain leftover white rice resting in your fridge. Predominantly a combination or a blend of garam masalas, it tastes good even with an omelette. So without much ado, let's get started. At first we will prepare the rice for people who are using leftover rice, however can skip this part. I have taken 1 cup of rice washed and strained thoroughly and to it adding cardamom and cinnamon sticks. You can also add cloves but that is optional. To this we shall now add 5 cups of water. lemon juice about one tablespoon and salt salt to taste now we shall add about one tablespoon of oil and put it on fire to cook with the lid on now the rice has cooked thoroughly and I shall strain it quickly quick because the more time skipped the more starchy the rice becomes and also we do not want to overcook the rice yes the rice is just perfect now and now we move on to the screening of the garam masala that is cinnamon and cardamom from the rice We have separated the garam masalas from the rice and now we will heat some oil in a pan. Now for tempering we shall add about half teaspoon of whole jeera, one bay leaf and one green chili split in two in the oil. Almost immediately goes in the garam masalas that we had screened out. Now goes in about half a teaspoon of ginger paste. We will stir it immediately. Now to this we shall add the cooked rice. We had added salt while cooking the rice but if you feel you need a little more of it you can add it now followed by about 2 tablespoons of sugar. Turn and roll the rice from upside down till it is fried properly. We are cooking the rice on high flame so that any extra moisture present in the rice might get evaporated. We are done with the frying part and now we will turn off the gas and add the key flavors one after the other. First goes in fried onions and cashew nuts. Then, 1 teaspoon of ghee, 1 fourth teaspoon of garam masala powder sprinkled all over and finally 1 split green chili. Instead of stirring it right now and mixing everything up, we shall cover it and keep it on standing time for 5 to 10 minutes. The end result looks like this and I wish you could also snip it like me. It's heavenly, very nice. So friends, if you have liked this recipe, please subscribe to my channel and share it among your friends. Like this video and... Thanks a lot for watching.